Oh, an urgent telegram from Paris. Ooh. Wow, he's got the reddest hair alive. His head is actually on fire. It's not here. It's about the unfortunate events on the train. I'm to return to Paris and explain myself. But, sir, what about the eye? They want to inform the Egyptian authorities that there might be a burglary attempt. Might? Egyptian authorities? What if the jewel is stolen at sea? I know, I know. I never received it. Keep a close watch on the loading of the eye, Robert. Aye, sir. Aye, aye. It was a pleasure meeting you, Constable Delta. <laughs> that was very insincere. What is the Constable's problem with me? I think he's jealous. Scotland Yard assigned him to assist me, just as you were sent by the Swiss authorities. <laughs> Uh, with the distinction that he may go to Egypt. Robert is to accompany me at all times. Your mission was restricted to Switzerland. At this moment, I want to be sent back to Switzerland just as much as you want to be sent back to Paris. I know, but I'm walking on thin ice, and I can't carry you to Wow. And the second eye is in that safe? Yes, an emerald. It's been kept in a bank in Zurich since the start of the war. I personally took it out of the bank vault and Professor Lucien certified that it was the real thing. And while a fake jewel was sent by train, uh, okay. the real one was brought here in an armored car. How is it protected? You can only open the safe if you have three special keys. Ooh. Professor Lucien has one, and Baroness Van Trebitz, who's paying for all this, has the second. The third was sent by Air Korea to Dr. Abbas Mak. So one of these people of the is going to have a key stolen in the next so, five minutes. Not even you could possibly open the safe before it arrives in Egypt. That's correct. We don't want to make it too easy for potential. No, it was too easy. The game would be shit. I hope you're aware of the fact that you're risking your career. Indeed I am. Why do you care so much about this case? Someone pretends to be the Raven and you promptly risk your career? What if he's not just pretending? What do you mean by that? It's his handwriting. And there's only one person who ever called me Nico. Have you ever considered the possibility that I shot the wrong man? But wh what do you mean by that? Let us assume just for a moment that the person I shot and who fell from the roof was not the Raven. Who would have cared enough to uncover That's the true. truth? The chief of police, the politicians? No, they wanted to revel in a successful manhunt. And it was yeah, the I was best saying, the Raven, that's the best thing, because all of a sudden he's just search gone. For him was over. He can spend all his he pennies, he's no me anymore. I had so many medals afterwards that he could hear them jingling kilometers away. And now he's back? And you're the only one who can stop him? Does that sound probable to you? The feathers, the letters, Nico. No one outside the police force knew that the Raven used to call me that in his letters. Policemen gossip, and there are plenty of forgers. You can't seriously intend to stake your reputation on such weak evidence. My reputation rests on something that I probably did not do. I have to find out who's behind all this. I want to help. Let's review. One of the two most valuable jewels in the world was stolen. Obviously, the second one will be next. And you suspect a legendary burglar who's been dead for five years. Go on. The second jewel <laughs> is about to be put on board over there, in a safe that requires three keys. Our thief may already have the first key, the archaeologist's key, from the train. We don't know anything about the status of the second key, yes, which was meant to be air freighted to Cairo. We have to assume that he already has it. Therefore, <laughs> there's just one key left. The Baroness, the Baroness is, is fucked. Correct. So, you'll need my eyes on board. Look, you can keep your eyes open for me here on the wharf. I'd be most grateful. But when this ship sets sail, you will not, I repeat, not be on board. But Inspector, but Inspector, we're dealing with a dangerous man, please. and I will pursue him regardless of the consequences. 
I won't let you get mixed up in this affair. It's still my decision. No, well, it's not. You don't it's have a ticket. Not, it's mine, and I've already made it. Good day, Constable Zelna. Okay, so obviously we're not going to take that, though. So we try and find a way to get. Can I just walk straight on? <laughs> just if I look like I belong here, I'm sure they'll just let me on. It's cool. I'll be marching up this gangway today, no matter what. Someone has to stop that damn bomber before he endangers more people. Let's board the ship. I don't want to run into Legrand before I have something new to report. Otherwise, he'll send me back to shore. Okay. Constable Oliver seems to be a little simplistic. <laughs> but I don't think he's a bad policeman. The way he reacted in the tunnel and got the train moving. Hats off. That'd be the one. Ooh. Let's just chop this bird in a red convertible. Yeah, look at the, uh, the cabriolet. Fine car. Yeah. Fine chassis that you got there. Compared to the young lady who owns it. Just look at the driver. Who could she be? An <laughs> I'm just going to stare at you. Daughter? She's certainly attracting a lot of attention. Well, not really. It's only you that's there. And that creeper Amazing up on the ship is just staring at me. For so few passengers. And I guess that three quarters of it belongs to the women. Okay, so that was boring. Let's speak to the constable. Hello, Constable Olivier. Hello. It's Oliver. Oliver. Good job in the tunnel, buddy. I just want to say that you did a good job in the tunnel. Hmm. Thanks. How did you know how to get the train moving? I come from a family of miners, and my uncle is an engine driver down the mine. I see. And you looked over his shoulder? Yeah. Best way to learn. Cruise. Oh, did Legrand tell you about his theory? That it could be the real Raven? No, of course he did. We're partners. But the modus operandi doesn't fit at all. The Raven wasn't a bomber. We have the letter. And the feather. That's his symbol. Anyone can put uh, a feather in an envelope. Someone... What's that it's, supposed to mean? It's for planning that he has, you know. What that made no mean? sense. For yeah. planning? What? The on the same. Just making to up blow words. Myself up? You threw the bomb away, and now you're the famous hero. Oh, that's right? why he's pissed off. The raven must have paid you pretty well. That is ridiculous. Is it? Only you Not and true. I and Legrand were in the freight car. True. One of us must have put the envelope on the safe. Legrand didn't. And I didn't. Think about it. All right, dickhead. <laughs> so he's pissed off at me and decides just to, like, you know, leave the, uh, the box alone. Can I examine it again? I'll take an inconspicuous look up close. You know she's got a rear view mirror, right? <laughs> sly. <laughs> Fucking sly. Oh, she's hit in the face. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's probably really late, I apologize. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't worry about it, miss. No harm done. That's good to hear, Mr. Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. Fuck, she is tall. Hello. What is your name? May I ask your name? Patricia Mayers. Are you American? American? I am. He totally put an American accent to say that, didn't he? Um, could you help me, please? Of course. Uh, sure. Zellner, like, take the smallest one. <laughs> uh, sure. Are you Put on your way straight back it? down? Yeah. Zellner. Are you on holiday? What a My gentleman. My works for a railroad company there. And is rebuilding the country after the war. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. I'm not too impressed. One more. Okay, I'm sorry. That cannot be heavy. You're lucky to have a father who takes you to so many interesting places. Oh yes, lucky me. Oh, first world Aren't problem, you interested bitch. Interested in Egypt, the pyramids, the history. I would have been more interested in a father who doesn't travel 300 days a year. <laughs> I'm sure your father regrets that he can't always be with you. 
No doubt. What a bitch. And I'm sure he always wanted to. <laughs> oh, my diamond shoes but that are too tight. I've been thinking only about himself far too often. Oh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> What's her arm doing? Bring my legs on. <laughs> Is this like an armpit shaving commercial? It's like, oh, look how smooth I am. Let's get my mouth moved for the rotunt. Oh. That's something I can look at over there. It's just, it's just enjoy the view. Look at his lean back swagger. <laughs> He's a hip these, and he can't turn for shit either, which is kind of funny. Let me sneak up on the doctor. Yo, doctor. Doctor. Oh, don't. Where are you going now? Abort. Abort. The sea is quiet today. Ideal conditions for a cruise. The sea is quiet today. Ideal conditions for a cruise. The sea is quiet. Oh God, have I broken him? Ideal conditions for a cruise. The sea is quiet today. <laughs> Ideal conditions for a cruise. Oh, he's, he's back. It's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? No, don't. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm serious. Not press anything, right? Turn around. No 90 degrees. That's it. That's the one. Fuck it. Just look up here. What the hell? Maybe if I walk far enough away that I can't see the view, it'll be like, yo. Let's bring up that and see if that helps. It's just walking. Oh, yo. What the. F Dude! Unfortunately, I didn't have time to see the sights in Venice. Paperwork served up by my Italian colleagues took up most of the day. Oh, boo -hoo. Right, this time you speak to, uh. You know. Dude? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut it off there because I think Zellner needs a break. I think he needs a coffee, maybe something stronger. Because he's clearly losing his fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, this has happened to me uh, in the last part as well, and I just kind of saved and came back. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I will catch you later on.